And marching for justice led to more community awareness from the American Civil Liberties Union. WCBI's Jory Talley has more now on knowing what's right and what's wrong when interacting with law enforcement. Cases like the Ricky Ball case sheds light on many things, including knowing your rights and spreading awareness to make sure things like this don't happen again. Uh, let them know the do's and don'ts when interacting with police officers. Um, because we, we, we really don't want to see anything like this happen again. So I think it's best that if, if we come together as a community and we start teaching these kids and letting them know, you know, the things that they can do, the things that they can't do when interacting with police officers. That's what Blake Feldman with ACLU of Mississippi did. Feldman says the Bill of Rights is the group's number one client. It's really important just to make sure that the community members' First Amendment rights are protected, but also it is very important for people to know that when there is potentially excessive use of force by police officers, that the ACLU is um, very dedicated to standing with them and demanding for accountability and transparency. Ricky Ball's cousin, Zatne Ball, says events like today will help with future tomorrows. Try to show the youth that there's a better way. You don't have to resort to violence to, you know, to get your point across on anything. After the ACLU presentation, residents cooked out and bonded, all while trying to better the community. In Columbus, Jory Talley, WCBI News. Thank you, Jory. While the case will go before a grand jury, a trial date has not been set.